vlog today. <gasps> Shocking, I know. It's 2.17 p.m. Sunday. I'm fired. Sunday, August 16th, I think. Uh, yeah. Um, I spent the morning editing the vlog, working on cleaning up my computer's hard drive, wrapping up Etsy orders, which we just dropped off at the mailbox so I don't have to do it tomorrow. And Fred went to the gym. Um, you know, normal dishes and all that stuff. We just kind of... Oh, and in the comments, write that she needs to upgrade to Mojave on her computer. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm still using El Capitan. I have an iMac. And occasionally it's not, like, running super well. Fairly sure it's a software issue, not a hardware issue. And El Capitan's not being updated anymore. And some of the it's other apps it's, aren't, aren't well supported by El Capitan. I probably need to update to Mojave. I don't really want to. Like, blah, blah, blah. It could be a processor so issue, and it could be my processing power is not strong enough for doing like five million things at once, like I'm usually want wanting to do, which I probably shouldn't be doing. Um, my computer's what did we decide? Six years old, eight years old, five or six, something like that. So it's a 2015. How many is that? Five years old? It's the apocalypse, people. I've lost track. It's five years. Five years. Um. Anyway, so that's a thing. I thought we had it fixed and we kind of did, but then I realized that YouTube doesn't work with Safari, so I have to have a copy of Google Chrome on my computer. Which is okay, I guess. Anyway. Google and uh, your operating system don't play nice. No, they really don't. So anyway, we're just out driving around now that we dropped the Etsy orders off because we just kind of both needed to get out of the house and you know, it's tomorrow is Monday, so Fred's going to be stuck at the house during the day, all day, working. So I don't think the library is open, but we're driving over here to see, and I don't know what else we're going to do. But we'll let you know. Hey guys, you know I gotta say, why do I have a feeling this week that I'm going to be doing a lot of vlogging in the car? It, it, it's all good though. I mean, you know, I do have a mask, and we'll be safe, but. The Etsy store is suddenly going insane, and I had three orders yesterday. Yay! Thank you guys. And another one. I've got another one this morning that's got to go out. So yay! I love you guys so much. Um, and of course, this is finally healing, but I have a feeling it's going to look worse before it gets better. These are finally healed. I mean, there's some red scarring marks, but yeah. Anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm in the car. It's Monday, August 17th. It's 11.51 a.m. Don't get excited. I've already been up for a few hours, filmed two videos. Um, I've got it. One is saving right now. The other one I need to edit. There'll be two versions. There'll be a talking version for my creative year, and then there'll be a speed through version for everybody else. And um, so I'll be doing that but I need to get this order dropped off. Hey guys, good afternoon. It is <clears throat> well after lunch. I think it's around 1.30. I'm not sure exactly though. Tuesday, August 18th. I almost said April. <laughs> Hello, Corona brain. Anyway, um, I did a live broadcast this morning again. We did some slow stitching. We made a little cloth basket and a new pin cushion for a collection of pins I just discovered in a drawer. I'll insert pictures here. I'm going to head out and go get the mail. I'm hoping to go for a walk later today, like the last like three or four days, no, three days. It's been like blasting hot and so we haven't gone walking. I'm really, really hoping to go walking today, so we'll see. I need to get some steps in. Oh, that reminds me, like fourth day in a row, I forgot to put my Fitbit on. Hello again, Corona brain. All right, I'll Good be back. Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday morning, August 19th, I think. August 18th. I don't even know. I know it's Wednesday morning. Hold on. Um, obviously, I'm in the car. I've got my mask. I've got 
just enough hand sanitizer between what's in the car and what's in my bag because I can't remember to fill up the bottle and bring it in the house. Somebody remind me when I get back. Um, okay guys, so I've spoken about it in vlogs before, but there's this little coffee drive through coffee shop place in McMinnville called Gold Rush Coffee, I think. And they have a white chocolate lavender blended mocha. It's a cold coffee that they make that I really love a lot. Um, I'd like to do them at home and not always drive to McMinnville, although it is a nice drive when we need to get out of the house. So I got some white chocolate sauce and some lavender syrup. And this morning I made my normal hot cup of coffee. And um, you totally could do this and put it in a blender with some ice, by the way. Um, and I have a K-cup machine and I put it on the biggest setting, which is I think 12 ounces of coffee, I think. Um, anyway, I did that. And then I put in a tablespoon of white chocolate sauce and a half a tablespoon or probably like a teaspoon of lavender syrup, a teaspoon of sugar, whatever your favorite kind of sugar is, and some half and half. I just stirred it up. I didn't make it cold. I made it hot and it was really good. So I'll be doing that again. And you totally could do all that, like I said, and then put it like in a blender with some ice and that would be like really delicious. So I started off my day having this really delicious cup of coffee. Then I just decided I was gonna go do all these errands and try to find things like Clorox wipes, which I think I already told you all. And I have no idea if I'm going the right way, but I guess we'll find out. Um, Anyway, I scored nine containers, three three packs of Lysol wipes at Walmart. They did not have a limit. And then I scored a single container at Target. They did have a limit. I got some more white chocolate sauce. I got some Bic pens. So fun fact, my favorite drawing pen is a Bic crystal pen. A plain old Bic crystal pen. Pretty sure I'm going the wrong way. Um, plain old Bic crystal pen. And I got some of those. They come right now because of back to school. You can get them 10 for nine, a dollar. I found them for 97 cents at Walmart. So I got three packs of those. Like it's, I'm having a good morning. Like, you know, considering how things have been lately, right? So anyway, I'm going to go get the rest of the things done. My family keeps texting me with a longer list and We'll see what happens. I'll be back. Hey guys, it is, what time is it? 2.17 p.m. It is still Wednesday. What day did we decide it was? The 19th? I think so. Anyway, I'm gonna clean out, let's see, this cabinet right here, which is where all the Tupperware is and a few of the baking sheets and things. We have a um, lower cabinet down there where we keep all the chips and snacks and the shelf at the very bottom has spare baking pans in it. I'd ideally like to get everything up there. I don't know if it can happen, but I do know that one up there is messy. I also have this, which is the infamous box of teacups. People found out I like tea. People passed away. I inherited teacups. People give me teacups. Same thing happens because people find out I have a Tinkerbell tattoo. Please don't send me any Tinkerbell or teacup happy mail. <laughs> so I have too much now. <laughs> so I'm going to go through the teacup box. I'm going to see if there's some in there I can use around the house to say hold change and keys. And they don't have to be used as teacups. Um, I think some of them have to go away. I, this is ridiculous to have a box of teacups that never get used. My teacup and coffee cup cabinet is full. So other than there maybe being a few favorites in here that I will pull out again to use or display or something, I think the rest of them just need to go away. So let's get to it. I've got my Bluetooth speaker here and I'm going to turn on a playlist and we're going to get to it. I'll be back.
Hey guys, it is like 1.52 or something p.m. Thursday, April, April, August 20th. And I feel raindrops, holy cow. That's a good thing. Um, anyway, I have no excuse for the, the date screw up because you know, I do that normally. It's just worse now, thank you, Corona Brain. Anyway, um, you know, when you have creative friends, Mike Deacon, <laughs> and you start chatting with them and they ask you questions and do you think you can get this for me? And do you think we can do that? And the next thing you know, after the conversation you have, before you finished your first cup of coffee, you're working on a brand new project and a brand new product for Etsy. And I can't give you any more details than that, but yeah, there's something coming. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> So he's got me off on a tangent. I have other things I should be doing, but I'm totally absorbed. It's right up my alley. No mail. There should be actually a package, but it's evidently not here yet. Um, anyway, it's right up my alley, um, but I have other things I should be doing, but now I'm working on that. So um, anyway, we're it's Thursday night. We're probably going to go grocery shopping. Um, Bob's garage cabinets are coming in like two weeks early they're going to be here Saturday so Bob is going to see if he can get my parents and or the kids not sure who he's going to get to come help him install them I'm assuming part of that means me because my dad's recovering from his head injury and he can't lift anything so or at least not much anyway um so yeah <laughs> I guess we have a busy weekend. The neighbors are finally having their house painted. And I'm assuming that means they're moving in soon. So that's all good. It'd be nice to finally have people living there. Um, yeah, now I gotta go back upstairs and make more product samples. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time. It was a really fabulous idea and it's not like I didn't have most of the stuff to do it with already. So it's all good. We're gonna have fun with it anyways. I think I might even have, oh, I think I have some more of your laser cuts that might work on something too. Mm-hmm. All right. I'll
morning, everybody. It's 9.28 a.m. Friday, August 21st, I think. Pretty, sh pretty sure. Anyway, obviously we're in the car again. I am off to mail some Etsy orders and pick up a few, hopefully pick up a few things at a different grocery store that we couldn't find last night. Because, you know, that's the new way of things with the pandemic is that, you know, the supply chain is iffy at best, right? Hey guys, I'm gonna stop what I'm doing for a minute and vlog, because hello. Um, I didn't vlog too much yesterday because all the kids came over and we had family dinner and game night. Um, that was a lot of fun. We stayed up really late playing a new game can't remember the name of it, but I'll insert the one picture I took that I shared on social media last night here. It's basically a game of arguing, which, which was interesting and uh, kind of cathartic, to be honest. It was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun with it. Um, I guess the kids found it um, at Goodwill for like three bucks or something. So anyway, yeah, uh, I it, it's a fun game. Um, Today, uh, we are waiting on my husband's cabinet delivery. I'll get you some footage when those come. Yay! Um, they're like two weeks early, so the cabinets are coming today. Um, I'm trying to get some stuff done up here while we're waiting, I, um, which I'll talk about in a minute, uh, because I'm assuming this afternoon I'll be helping him unpack the pallets and rearranging things. And I think my parents are coming tomorrow, so Dad, and I can help Bob install the cabinets. Bob's hoping to get it done tomorrow so that he can sort of spend the rest of the week, um, you know, putting his garage back together. He's, you know, not super happy with having his garage, you know, in five million different locations right now, which I don't blame him because I was that way with the art room when we first moved in and it took them almost three months to put the floor in. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. So Lowe's and flooring and yeah, just don't go there if you don't have to. Um, anyway, so we're doing that. And so I'm trying to get some business stuff done up here. We will be rebranding um, the art business and um, all my social media. Some of it's going to be going away. Some of it's staying and getting revamped. Um, new logos. Well, I shouldn't say that. We're finally getting a logo. We really haven't had one in all the years I've had a creative business. I've been undecided about logos and I can help create them for other people, but creating them for myself is a challenge. I'm trying to um, garner some new habits to help me with that a little bit. Um, and one of those is creating mini mood boards uh, for where my creativity and my business is going or I want it to go. And I'm going to be adding those to my planner. And when I can, I'll start sharing them, actually, I think, over at my Facebook group, A Life of Art and Self-Expression. And we'll do a video on it and all that stuff. Um, but, yeah, I'm creating some mini mood boards and actually typewritten goal, business goals. I've got a 14-page proposal for my daughter to read. 14. And before you all ask, I didn't just ask her because she's my kid. I mean, that's part of the reason, but she's in advertising and marketing and graphic design. This is what she does for a living. So I finally said, can you help me? Because I can't do this by myself anymore. And it's too much. I'm all over the place. I'm in too many places. And I'll give you all a hint. One of the key words, simplify, right? So um, putting your energy where it's making the most good. I think is what she said, something like that. So anyway, working on that today. So I'm trying to clear out the clutter out of my planner. There's a bunch of, bunch of junk in there. I've just been shoving stuff in there for months. And um, there's some projects in there I'm no longer participating in and things like that. It all needs to go. I need to redo the planner. And so I'm working on that today. And I may actually just order myself some new inserts while I'm at it rather than make them. I know I might use what I have for the moment and just relabel things, but yeah, I know, right? Um, I might make them and use my own artwork uh, again, shocking. So anyway, so I'm going to be working on that and I may or may not chat with friends. We'll see um, as time allows. And as they, I mean, it is Saturday. They're busy with their families. So, but anyway, I'm going to turn on some music and I'm going to get to it. I'll be right so back. Say I have a couple of other projects coming up 
I can't talk about, but they're huge things. And while I'm thinking about it, I need, I have some typos I need to fix in one of them. And the rebranding has to happen, like at least the logo part really quick because of one of the projects I'm working on with somebody. Yeah, it's like a big thing. There's a lot of stuff happening. A lot of stuff, so stay tuned. Listening to YouTube and making notes on my to-do list for the rebranding project I've undertaken with my daughter. And we started hearing a very large truck backing up in front of our house. I think my husband's cabinets are here and they forgot to call him first. See that truck? I think that's what that is. His new cabinets are here. Pretty sure. I was right, the cabinets are here. Holy shit. Hold on. unexpected Fred's cabinets came only they didn't all come in half. anyway some of them came via the big truck carrier most of them but one key piece the corner cabinet well two key pieces the upper and lower corner cabinet and the countertop all are on a you well they're at UPS only two miles away but evidently we have to wait until Monday yeah I don't think so everybody's going to be at our house to install tomorrow so we're going to the UPS place to go pick it up and I don't know how that's gonna work. I drive a Subaru Outback, hopefully it fits. In we are currently at the UPS distribution center in Tualatin. I'm kind of hoping they can find Bob's box and we can get it, but I guess we'll see. Okay, so we did take a little bit of a drive to go see if we could get the cabinet. Did we get the cabinet, Fred? No, did not get the freaking cabinet. No, because it's not really in Tualatin, it's in Portland. We were lied to. We were lied to. <laughs> so, um, we talked to the guy at the Tualatin Distribution Center. He's just gonna make a note. Instead of them holding it, they're gonna just put it on a truck and deliver it when it comes in. We won't get it until Monday. It's in a trailer somewhere. It's in a trailer somewhere. He said, you can't even like even go over there and try to get it because it's like locked up in a trailer somewhere. So we put everything on hold until next weekend, but next weekend, Fred gets his the start of his new garage. In the meantime, he can unpack what we did get and make sure all of that is good and nothing is dented or broken or anything so let's hope anyway we stopped at the hardware store to pick up some tools that we're gonna need and now we're headed home I'll be back I am pretend it's Saturday but it's not it's Sunday morning I forgot to close the vlog oops probably because it didn't go the way Saturday didn't exactly go the way I thought it was going to I thought that we were gonna get all of Bob's cabinets and then unpack them and then first thing this morning get started on the installation. It didn't turn out that way. In the meantime, I'm also working on a bunch of business rebranding stuff and yeah, holy cow. <laughs> anyway, it's been a week. I hope you've had a good week. I mean, you know, it didn't go as expected but it wasn't a bad week for us. But I hope you've had a good week even if things didn't go as expected for you either. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. If you wanna support the free content here on YouTube or over in the Facebook art groups, there's lots of ways to do that. Check out the video description, which I'll be cleaning them up hopefully soon. They're getting a little jumbled again. <laughs> and what else? I think that's it for the moment. Of course, I haven't had any coffee yet because it's there's a coffee. Yeah, it's making it right now. Anyway, so um, I do have two Facebook art groups. If you'd like to um, keep in touch with me um, more than you already do here on YouTube, you're welcome to join. And I also have Instagram, so you can follow me over there. Anyway, all of that stuff's in the video description. I do have a list of links called Linktree, and you can click on it and find all the places I am on the internet and ways to support me. So there you go. Anyway, stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative, my friends, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.